Hey guys, on many of the Wheels in Japan playlist videos, people often ask us about foreign cars in Japan, if Japanese people import foreign cars into Japan, uh, particularly those videos where we're driving around when the, the scene's out the window, you can see all the cars going past and people comment that they're mostly Japanese cars. I guess it sort of makes sense, being Toyota and, and a couple of the other Honda and a couple of other Japanese manufacturers are a couple of the best car makers in the world making reliable cars that sort of suit Japan, you know, size wise and so on. But yes, there is imported cars in Japan. Uh, Mini's very popular, very popular recently. So all we did here, there was no particular plan. If we saw a foreign car, we filmed it. So this will give you a cross section of what we saw, but we just sort of lumped them in together. So here's all the Minis. So Minis, very popular. Obviously, convenient for Japan you know lots of small streets lots of small parking spaces a small car is really the go if you're driving around Japan so Mini of course lends itself to that and the other one is VW VW is extremely popular as well the sort of small size combi that's not the standard size combi is it this is a smaller size combi tiny little thing it is that one's only a thousand dollars it's an old one Look how small it is, really tiny. Here's another one that's the same. So not the standard combi size, tiny little van. Very popular, see lots of these. And then other models of VW as well. So the Beetle's popular. So the new Beetle is popular and older Beetles are popular as well. See old ones as well. And then the sedans and so on as well, very popular. VW, love VW, love German cars in fact. Lots of German cars in Japan. So here's a place that specialises in them, uh, Mercedes and BMW and VW, very popular. There's a, uh, what's that, American car isn't it? I wasn't close enough to get it, it's actually very very far away that one. It's a Chevy isn't it, a Chevrolet maybe, I can't remember. You guys will know, tell us what it is. As you can see, it was very, very far away. <laughs> Mercedes. So, you don't see a lot. In the big cities, you see you see a few, but you don't see a lot. Uh, prestige cars, they sort of like them, but then they can get Lexus and all that sort of stuff as well. So, you do see them, but not a lot. Not a lot. To, to get this video footage, took a few weeks of just keeping an eye out. There's a Porsche. That's actually for sale, that one. That's why we didn't bother to hide the number plate. Oh, there's an American car. What's that? That's a uh, big red car. That's right. Big red car. Someone will know what that was as well. There's an Audi. So, yeah, this is sort of a cross-section of what we saw. Yeah, the big ones, some people have asked about bringing in American cars, big cars. Um, it'd be a nightmare to drive. Something like that, driving around Japan in something like that would be really difficult. On the highways and so on, it'd be a pleasure. But as soon as you went off the highway onto the smaller roads, it'd be a nightmare. You know, you've seen that on that wheels playlist, is some of the little streets that we drive around. You know, a small car squeezes up some of these streets, and a big car, even one that, that's that size, you'd have a hard time getting it into lots of streets. And lots of parking spaces. You know, quite often parking spaces are really tiny. So you'd be really limited where you could go. I think you'd quite often have to leave the car at home. Look at that one. You know, there'd be places that you'd want to go. You'd just have to leave the car at home and take a taxi or a bus or a train or something because you'd never get it get to where you wanted to go. So, But anyway, the question was, is there foreign cars in Japan? Yes, see? <laughs> As you can see, there is. More videos coming soon.